So John, we're here on your booth. Can you tell us a little bit about your company before we focus on the machine? All American Sales and Service is a service and machine seller. Uh, Freedom is our line, but we service other machines, Meltronics, Fidals, things like that, especially in the area. Anaheim is where we're um, located. But this is our flagship machine, the Freedom. Uh, this is a 4020 with a pallet changer attached. Uh, this is a boxway machine. It has an RPM of 12,000 RPMs, oil, air oil spindle, uh, cutting feed rate of 1,000 inches a minute, uh, a 30 tool changer. So we have 31, we have a dual arm. So when we look at the configuration, is this something you see a lot in North America with the pallet changer to the side? Uh, there's a few of them out there, not many. The machine itself, the 4020, we sell also without the toilet changer. That's a big uh, a size. Everybody loves that size. Uh, they love the box way because of the rigidity of it. So it is a good seller around here. And, and it's quite affordable automation, isn't it? You, you're not breaking the bank to have to you know, buy this style of automation. Correct. This machine goes for 129 So with the pallet changer as it's sitting here, uh, there's other options, cooling through. Um, uh, fourth axis. We have we come standard with an auger. Mm -hmm. it, it, you get, it's fair to say you're getting a lot of machine for your uh, for your money there. Correct. Can we can we focus on the on the on the CNC control a little bit? Sure. So uh, it's a ISO G code basically. So uh, almost any any post for a Fanuc will fit. We do have Autodesk does have a Syntec uh, um, post which is, that's the maker of the control. So we can go straight to that. It has high speed precision machining. Um, it has uh, just the, the regular G codes and M codes that a Fanuc would have. Uh, so can, can we take uh, FANUC programs and will it go straight into the control or maybe with a slight little adaption? Uh, actually not too much adaption at all. I've made some macros in it that will recognize some of the Fanuc that it doesn't recognize, change them over to what it does. And it's a, it's a just, a, basically I've, I've posted to an OI and it makes no change at all. And if you can just walk around, we'll have a quick look at the uh, the automation here. Just it, dead, dead simple, isn't it? Dead simple, John. Yeah, yeah. It's as simple as just a few M codes to change our uh, pallets from one to the other. You can load while your while your other pallet is machining. Um, we have a light curtain, so we have plenty of access to it. You know, it'll it'll only stop everything if the door is open, the light curtain itself. So to keep machining, we can uh, you know double production. Yeah, and it can obviously have one large component or several smaller components. Correct. Yeah, yeah, multiple vices or or a, or, an, or a rotary uh, table, whatever you want. Um, and you could have either a rotary table on one axis and just do a first and second op if there's something else going on like that. Okay, so we, so we could actually, you, you've got all the uh, services on both pallets for, for uh, rotary tables? Correct, correct. Yeah, you can have multiple tables or a rotary table. So, yeah, you can do all that. Okay, and just finally, what other machines are in the Freedom range? Uh, we have the small machine you see in the back over here. It's a 2015. It's a 30 taper and also comes in a 40 taper. Those are only tool, 20 tool change changers. Uh, then we have the 3016 over in the corner over here in the booth. We also have some bigger machines, uh, 6027 and an 8027. And, uh, of course, the 4020, a base model without the APC. What's, what's the route to market here in America? Do you, do you sell direct or do you sell by distributors? We sell direct and we also are looking for distributors and we have a couple. We're trying to get into Mexico right now and we're working with people with that right now.